What's up guys, this is John from Heavyset Tactical. I have another tabletop uh, review to talk about real quick today. This is a review of my new TRC Knives Apocalypse. Made in Lithuania. And the presentation of these is pretty amazing. Magnetized box. Pamphlet comes with some information on the knife, maintenance page, the owner and attributors, um, and here is the knife. Okay, wow. Comes with a nice lanyard on it. Man, so I have been wanting one of these things for a long time, guys. I have wanted one and usually places are out of them and I really wanted one in the apocalyptic finish and then I saw one at a blade show and for some reason I like some I, I like some of my knives a little cleaner and when it comes to my my big knives you know now that I sharpen them and things like that I think that uh, generally if I'm not using it if I don't want a knife for a specific tactical purpose and I don't have a foreseeable future of using it in a tactical per uh, uh, tactical role I, I don't mind having a non-coated blade uh, you know I like I like the shiny metal I like to be able to see uh, the you know the uh, the the nice heat treated satin finishes and things like that and I, I like to be able to see kind of what I'm doing with it, you know, like when it comes to my more high carbon stuff, if that's coated, that's okay, but sometimes I like that uncoated too, so I can minimize the rust damage and things like that. So, without further ado, this is the TRC Apocalypse. Wow, I thought I was going to have it nice and clean, I must have touched it before I... Put it back in there. This is the TRC Apocalypse, guys. <whistles> Big slab of Elmax. These blades are numbered. Black micarta, satin finish. Look at these eyelets. Ground out. Dropped in there perfectly. Full thick tang. Nice, cur nice. The only other company was Survive Knives that I saw that does that. That rounds out their finger, uh, finger choils there. Whoo! <laughs> Man, what a comfortable, well presented, but also extremely rugged blade. Look at the grind lines on this blade. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. And look at that my quarter job. Wow. This is a sight, guys. Just fits perfect in hand. Super comfortable. <sighs> Let me give it one more little wipe down. I like to see let you guys just see how it it's going to look out of the box, uh, you know, just beautiful, 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 beautiful. I only handled it very minimally this morning. Uh, so real quick, I'm going to give, just give you guys a couple quick specs here, and then, um, and then we'll talk about my thoughts on the knife. So overall, it is 11.82 uh, inches or 300 millimeters. On the blade length, it's 6.78 inches or 172 millimeters. The cutting edge is 6.58 inches, 167 meters. Uh, sorry, millimeters. Um, the blade thickness is 0 0.256 inches. So it's nice 6.5 millimeter thickness. And for me, for a survive, for a survival knife, that is pretty much per as perfect as it gets. Uh, you know, to have a blade of this length and this thickness, these proportions to me are essentially perfect. Uh, has this beautiful swedge ground out just perfectly. 
man, that is a sight to see. Uh, comes with the lanyard. It is in LMAX. Uh, black canvas micarta. Has a plain edge on it. The blade finish is satin. Um, the handle thickness is 0 0.18 or 20.31 millimeters. And then the weight of it. This thing, you know, first of all, guys, this is not a super heavy kind of chopper. The weight on this thing is distributed and balanced in a flawless way. The weight of it is 14.04 ounces or 398 grams, so just, just shy of 400 grams. It is a full tang knife, and it is they're made, as I showed you on the box, made in Lithuania. Uh, TRC has a few different models, and they have this knife in an, in an apocalyptic finish, which is uh, kind of like a patina, like a heat patina kind of really eccentric um, finish. But man, whew, if that doesn't feel good in my hands, I just don't know what would. I, I mean, this is the most comfortable knife, and for, for, for dropping back, you know, with that three fingers and the pinky underneath for chopping. Oh my God, you just have so much leverage and so, such a big handle, uh, like almost like a, it almost feels like you have a knob on the back to hold on to. The a jimping, <laughs> the a jimping, the jimping is uh, just perfect. It's not, it, it looks a little aggressive, but it's really not at all. It's rounded out flawlessly. Um, you know, for, for, uh, I'll talk about the price a little later, later, but for as expensive as a knife, this is, you know, this is a, everything is thought out It all. How, uh, it also has some jimping back here for when you're getting a grip to do some chopping tasks. Uh, zero three, five, three, five is my, the number on mine. Um, I've waited for quite some time for one of these. So, uh, make a long story short, you know, whew, unbelievable. I do know that there's only one place other than the website of TRC's actual website to find this blade. On their website uh, from Lithuania, I believe it is about $500. Uh, and, and that's what I paid for this. This was $500. Um, I think it was like $520. Uh, you know, and then shipping and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of what their euro, I forget how many euros it is on their website, but, um, make a long story short, the apocalypse knife was created by TRC for like a do or die survival situations knife. Um, and it's obviously called the apocalypse because this is meant to be your one tool option for the apocalypse. Um, you know, whatever uh, apocalyptic scenario we're talking, which you never know. Things ha things happen all the t uh, things happen every day that we didn't think were possible. You know what I mean? Uh, and it comes with this handmade Kydex sheath. Uh, the Kydex sheath is flawless. Um, you know, and I I love their use of spacers. They have one here, one here, and one here uh, on either side. And this is the thumb ramp, dude. It, it makes for a rubberized, grippy thumb ramp. Has that positive click. You guys know I love that. Zero rattle. Absolutely none. Except for the cord. Uh, zero rattle. Everything came uh, tuned perfectly. And these have the spacers on them. On the inside and one on each adjacent screw head. So you can adjust the tension between the where it grabs on the tip of the finger choil to kind of holding in place the back micarta. You can adjust those and tune them exactly how you want the knife. Uh, so it's really epic. They also have a really nice drainage hole. And to have such a massive knife on, on your side it is a really small package. It is you get a really nice taco style, which with my bigger knives, so I can add things to them. I I really prefer taco style sheaths. Uh, so for to have a taco but not take up that much face space, you know, 
uh, it, it's just perfectly made. The belt loop is nice and big so you can fit any kind of belt in there, but not too big to where it can swing back and forth. And you know, you can take this off if you don't like it to add another type of lat la latching mechanism on there, belt loop on there. But that thumb ramp is so perfect, it just grips your thumb. And then you have the jimping there as well for a grip to pull back on. Um, this knife is if is nothing short of perfect in my opinion. Uh, you know, I I cannot wait, dude. It has been raining in Lancaster for a week, uh, and I've been really wanting to, um, you know, go get out on the trail and shoot some videos with the knives that Aurora Borealis sent me. I I am doing that in the morning. Tomorrow morning, I'm going down to do some some really awesome tasks with those knives and, and film them. So that'll be coming too. But man, that jimping is just perfect. This knife in hand, it almost feels like a slightly heavier, like SRK kind of size comparison. But it is so well balanced, guys. I, I don't even know how to describe, you know, sometimes they say, you know, you, you buy these expensive knives and you can feel the the price difference in your hand and with this you know you you really can feel the quality of these hand finished uh production knives from lithuania trc is just excellent they have some smaller uh types like the south pole and some other stuff and again it's a big slab of lmax i'd like to know what the uh, hrc is of this i'm a big fan of lmax i just i just arrived late on the train for lmax um you know, and and I've heard a lot of great things, but man, look at the finish and the, and the apocalypse, L Max. But man, this knife is super sharp tip. Just the grind lines are mesmerizing, literally mesmerizing. I mean, it's just, everything on here is just flawless. You know, for a, a knife that's just under 12 inches at 300 grams. You know, to, in my opinion, this is this is perfection. Uh, so just super quick, guys. I'm going to check the manual and see if uh, Andreas Trick Tricius or Trickius uh, is the name of of the founder and head designer at TRC Knives. I just wanted to see if it had anything about the maybe where they heat treat it, how they heat treat it, or I'll have to do a little more um, look up now, and then you have a full warranty. So this knife is, uh, you know, just unbelievable for me of a purchase. It feels light in hand. You, can, I mean, it feels like it's just ready to work. Uh, you know, it's got that really nice belly to do some finer tasks with, and you can choke up on it and really get, get some of that more controlled cutting done and uh, feather sticking done. I am just 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 mesmerized by it uh, I cannot wait to start putting some dings and dents into this knife um, so I'm probably gonna do an, a cool like you know mock-up survival scenario video with this where I have to you know maybe use it to build a shelter and then do some finer tasks make some feather sticks and start a fire with it uh, you know the only complaint I've ever heard about this knife is that it, it's not sharp from here to here on the spine for uh, ferro rod sharpening or uh, ferro rod sharpening ferro rod striking feels a little sharp here but down here is where they were striking um, so yeah I'm just mesmerized at this thing uh, you know I think as a whole package it is absolutely 100% worth the money um, and I am couldn't be any more happy with it so uh you know, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, I'll be uploading the Grizzly, um, the Grizzly, the Forester, and the Lynx. I'm going to get a crap load of use out of those in the morning, uh, out in the woods on the trail, and then send you guys some more cool content. Uh, we're almost at 500 subscribers, so we're going to start dropping some some really cool giveaways. And uh, I'm going to do three, choose three subscribers for at, just at first. I'm going to choose three subscribers that have commented on one of my videos or shorts. 
uh, to send them knives, and then we're going to go from there and just do it with subscribers in general. So, again, this is the TRC Apocalypse in LMAX, 11.82 inches, 6.78 inch blade, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I am just starstruck by it. So, like always, guys, you know me. Thanks for watching my content. Uh, say a prayer for Donnie B all day. Uh, his the guy from his channel, you know, who has the knife channel, uh, Choir Boys Cutlery. All those guys are uh, rooting for him. He's having some health issues. So, like always, guys, stay safe and stay heavy.